The All-American Qualifiers are presented by Tempting Dash, a leading sire of stakes runners. See his yearlings at the Road Oso and Heritage Place sales. And by Granada Farms. Also standing, View Me Flying and EC Jet One. Third fastest, day two, Gonna Be Famous. Gonna Be Famous started his career by winning a Ruid Oso Futurity trial in May. However, he failed to qualify and was then sidelined by an ankle problem. Jockey James Flores has been with him all the way. I know we're standing in the heat right now, it's like 100 degrees. I was standing in the, in the starting gates at the farm with him, it was like 15 degrees in Oklahoma, it was really cold. Uh, but the horse, he's always showed a, a big level of class and, and, and you know, the, the owners, they, they aim towards this race out here, so um, fortunately it all worked out. They're running. Smooth break from all, and it's early speed for Gonna Be Famous. Out middle of the track, CER's final try, a political J Twin One. Then we have Wager on Your Wagon, and then at the rail is Early Bell Ronnie. Gonna Be Famous. Gonna Be Famous for some CER's final try, then Wager on Your Wagon, and a political J Twin One, and it's Gonna Be Famous. Gonna Be Famous races for Lone Star Land and Cattle, who paid $67,000 at the Rudoso Select Sale. He is one of two qualified by James Flores. I would just like to, to hope that this race helped him and uh, that the race was good for him and it would do him good and he'll finish stronger in the next race. That next race is the $3 million All-American. Is he gonna be famous? Watch the All-American Derby and Futurity Labor Day weekend live on Rye TV and Rye TV Go.